<laughs> you know what you're doing, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Everyone thinks right. they know what they're doing until they don't, but yeah. <laughs> As I said before, the AMX30 could not fire 010 APDS rounds because they didn't have, uh, they just didn't work. All right, the coax started as a 50 cal, uh, but in 1973 was replaced with a 20 millimeter autocannon that had its own elevation ability that went up to 40 degrees, making it more capable in engaging aircraft and helicopters. Is that why it's not a fully coax? Because it's that's, not the that, same axis as pretty, the... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going for. I mean, it's mm -hmm. my definition. I'm not, uh, haven't bothered. Sure. I'm sure there are proper definitions mm -hmm. for it, but uh, as a tank enthusiast mm -hmm. and not actually uh, any sort of person who actually has any real knowledge, mm -hmm. I'm just going to say I'm not going to call it proper coax for that reason. Because there are people who would say that if it doesn't have a coax, it's a self-propelled gun and not a tank. But um, <laughs> there are exceptions to every rule in the tank world, and let's, let's yeah. take this as one and move on. There you go. All right. Uh, early export versions were sold with a 7.62 millimeter coax, uh, and an external 7.62 millimeter MG was developed for the Lotus hatch, but this was later installed as a remote weapon station in the Commander's Cupola. 